hello everyone today I am going to implement this decapitation feature so here is the demonstration as you can see the head is decapitated that animation didn't have the decapitation this one has all right so let's see how to implement this today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so this is what we have at the moment mm, let's So let's uh, see how to implement dismemberment and decapitation. So for that, we need first, this is the skeletal mesh and this is just attached the static mesh, not a part of this skeletal mesh. So we need to uh, create uh, like dismembered parts so I'm going to export this using a set action export this member I may call it mannequin and export use in the default options then let me open blend right uh, now we don't need this box let me import using import fbx that exported character mannequin import right now let's Go to the front view and go to the modeling. Oh, wait, yeah, modeling and good object mode select and then go to edit mode right now we have uh, this viewport the mannequin looks like this now go to the side view and let me zoom in so we can clearly see right now use this uh, we have this knife tool press left click and here now we can select knife and bisect so i'm going to select bisect then draw a line like this and under bisect I'm gonna do clear inner and if I look and if I fill yeah actually this fill option sometimes fill the mesh but it doesn't do anything here but anyway I'll keep the fill enabled now I need to export but before we export go to the layout mode and select this sk gold samurai and rename this as a armature if we don't do that uh, sometimes when we re-import this mesh uh, above root uh, the this uh, name of the skeleton appears as a bone to the same here as well armature y00 okay 
um, now I export SFBX into the same location I imported it I'll call it um, body only and export right now we have this exported mesh now let's go back here and uh, add a new folder dismembered let me import this now here select the ue4 ghost katana samurai katana skeleton and import right now we have the mannequin without the body without the head and we can use the same mannequin texture let's use the red one because that's the enemy's one right now similarly go here go back to the modeling select and edit mode oh wait undo yeah and again go back to this view and draw a line so this time fill clear inner so we can get only the head like this mm, yeah since I didn't save it last time I have to again do the renaming part mature right now again export this to the same place let's call it head only and export now let's simply import the head as well use the same skeleton as the mesh use the red mesh uh, right now under the person character mm -hmm. here uh, now we have already implemented added this decapitate and dismember anim notifiers if you don't remember let me show one of them here here we have this slash and dismember uh, notifiers so here let me implement those notifiers slash and this member we have two dismembers ldru and lurt which stands for left down to right up and left up to right down the dismembering direction and and decapitate right so let's start with decapitation first i have implemented this attack animation blueprint interface here i'll add a function dismember right 
uh, now for now I have only the decapitation part so let's see, implement that first mm -hmm. dismember okay yeah and for now I'll try get own owner and call dismember all of these notifiers we don't have any distinction between these different types of dismemberments actually slash is not a dismember it's just an attack right um actually for the attacker because we get these on the attacker these events on the attacker so dismember i think we should rename this yeah we need to have a different one as dismember uh, dismember victim right and another function called just dismember right now we yeah this is already renamed to dismember victim right so now we have the dismember victim here, here and also we need to have dismember function as well okay uh, so when we perform the attacks it is likely that we will be moving away from this detection box so uh, when we do an attack let's uh, save the victim into a different variable because this will be reset when we move away from that box this will be set to none so let me oh, promote this to a variable what should we call it last no this member target okay right now when we get a request to dismember the victim we should call dismember on the dismember target right now since the npc is this npc character is also a child character of the third person character so this function this event will be inherited into that class into that character blueprint as well so right now here how do we implement dismemberment okay so here so we when we dismember we will have like more in most cases we will have uh, be dismembering the character into two separate parts so i'll add another skeletal mesh um, sk dismembered And in the construction script, uh, get a reference. So as this one, I'll set the body only for now. Uh, no, let's use head only for now. Set master pose. Component. And as the master born, use the mesh. Right. And uh, connect it. Compile. Now we can see that head is also there. So uh, we didn't don't need it visible at the moment so I'll set it to hidden in game 
now let's remove the visibility completely right now when we dismember we can get two references like this to the mesh and to the dismembered mesh uh, then I'll set visibility of this to true and then in the mesh I'll set skeletal mesh back to body only let's try this and see what happens and also when we go ragdoll we should enable ragdoll for the dismembered part as well right now shall we check what happens nothing right uh, let's see what's the problem Uh, I think we need to disable this reinit pause option. Right, let's see if that works. I think it is working, but uh, but still, the head is not separated. Let's see. Uh, maybe we need to. Uh, after dismembering we need to de uh, reset the master boss component uh, but how do we do that okay let's set it to none and see what happens okay now it got separated but um, not really okay uh, it looks like it is still attached what if I make it outside not the child component of the mesh right or one more thing when it decapitates so go into ragdoll mode the collisions of the capsules should be disabled to no collision otherwise it blocks the player character right now how do we make this head drop separately mm -hmm. when you go ragdoll we simulate physics for the dismembered part as well but what if i set simulate physics again here it's not simulating right what's the oh it doesn't have any collisions right set collision enabled physics only simulate where did it go oh, okay it moved up 
very fast see thrown away somewhere but how do we prevent that is that because of the collision of the capsule what's the collision profile it has uh, it's no collision right can we change the object type to physics body and ignore then only interact with world static oh, not good but then maybe instead of using the head as a skeletal mesh we can try importing it as a static mesh oh for that we have a different collision also mm. yeah let's try that Let me duplicate this and rename as head SM. Right, disable static skeletal mesh and uh, use the red, same red. And for the simple collision, yeah, this collision would do right now for the dismembered um, uh, let me disconnect this for now and drag and drop head right now let's attach this to the neck let me move it under the mesh where is it I think attaching it on the neck works. Right. Now let's do it like this, and I'll make it invisible. What's the collision? What call dynamic? Set to no collision initially, and when we dismember. I do this part set the skeletal mesh of the body to body only and then head set simulate physics and set visibility back to true uh, before simulating physics we need to set collision enabled for physics
right shall we check mm -hmm. all right it worked where did the head move Actually, that doesn't have a decapitation. Okay, let me try again. Wait, didn't I connect all those events? to dismember ah oh, no I didn't do that for this step yeah that's all right so this is correct But head moves too fast. <laughs> uh, for the head, let's try increasing this mass scale and see if that helps. What happened here? That's just a step. No decapitation. Mm, no, it's not really helping. Right, uh, let's leave the head movement part as it is for now and now let's look into how to make it work like with uh, how to dismember the body. Right, so for that, um, uh, no, actually I think we should finish this dismembering head part first. Right, <clears throat> so let's add another variable decapitated and I'll turn this into a boolean variable and yeah, in the tick, the tick, let's do a check if this member, sorry branch if dismembered that means we have a moving head oh we need to set dismembered here sorry no dismembered decapitated to true and if yes access the head static mesh get P6 linear velocity right and then get the magnitude vector length if this is larger than what's the max value we should have let's say 20 
get unit direction vector sorry no normalize this and multiply with the max speed so this is how we clamp the speed so the max speed we are going to use is uh, literal float 20 I don't know if this is too much or too less let's see if yes set p6 linear velocity with this value right shall we test if that works oh <laughs> no 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 that's not gonna work that's not going to work uh, so maybe 100 fair enough uh, <laughs> no so actually what we should do is we should prevent it moving up mm. right so break this and clamp for the minimum we can have minus 500 for the maximum we can have only 20 break this and split oh so this is xy Is it? We can have falling down should not look unrealistic. So I'll add minus 500 as the minimum and as the maximum. Let's try 30. Right. Let's check now. Okay. great uh, i think we can stop it here right, so actually i modified two values like minus 50 between 50 and for the uh, upward direction minus 500 to 150 and i think those values looks better Alright, so with that I'd like to stop this episode. So in the next episode I will work on the dismemberment of the mannequin. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. 
and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club link would be in the description below and i will share the project file of this project i have used but i will not share with that i will not include uh, the ghost samurai asset pack any of the assets from that the animations i will only include the blueprints that i have created and thanks for watching see you in another episode